how to relocate your E30 brake booster for cheap. Welcome to episode four of our six part E30 M5X swap guide. If you haven't seen the first video, click the link right here. So in this video, we're gonna be tackling the tricky topic of how to relocate your E30 brake booster. The issue with the M5X intake manifolds is they're bigger and bulkier and they get in the way of your stock brake booster location. Some people recommend finding a brake booster from a different vehicle, but after reading through the forums, I've heard lots of people complaining about a worse or just a different sort of brake feel. So for my swap, I decided to just move over the brake booster half an inch and keep the stock brake feel and do it for cheap. So one thing I should mention about this method, you're only going to have three bolts holding in your brake booster instead of four. I've had my braking system like this for over a year now and I've had no braking issues whatsoever. So if you're okay with that, then let's get into it. For this method, you'll need a welder, a grinder, and just some basic tools to remove the booster. Step one is to unbolt the master cylinder and just gently move it off to the side, trying not to kink any of the brake lines. Step two, you'll have to crawl underneath the dash and undo the four nuts that hold on the brake booster, and you can remove that from the car. Next, you'll have to cut back some of the insulation to make room for the booster's new location. Step four is to drill three new holes half an inch towards the driver's side. Make sure to measure this as accurately as you can. Now, you don't need to drill the top left hole um, because if you crawl underneath the dash, you'll see exactly what I mean. There's just not a spot for the stud to go through there. And because of that, you'll need to cut the stud off of the brake booster as well. So step five, once you have those three holes drilled, put the brake booster back in, make sure that it's sitting flush and tight to the firewall, as tight as you can get it. So this brings us to step six. If you crawl underneath the dash, you'll notice that the booster is now over half an inch towards the driver's side, and the clevis pin does not match up with the brake pedal anymore. So you'll need to go to a scrap yard and find a second clevis pin, preferably from an E30, but any sort of BMW from that generation should have the same style. Once you have two of the clevis pins, take those two pieces and weld them together like this. Now you'll notice with our new modified clevis pin, the brake booster can now thread into this section and is offset half an inch where it can line up with your brake pedal. And finally, step seven, bolt the master cylinder back on the booster, hook up the brake pedal and test the braking system. And that's it for the brake booster relocation. I know that it's not the perfect solution, but if it's done properly, it's very safe, very reliable, and very cost effective. Make sure to check out the next video in our series, Intake and Exhaust, and if you have any more questions, feel free to comment below or message us on social media.